Hey everybody, we're going to look at one of the coolest things about the channel EQ and Logic. This is something that has to do with the processing options that we have. So we're going to take a look at them. We're going to use this stereo mix. So this is kind of like a mastering feature in some ways, but also just useful with so many different stereo images. Let's play for one second. So this actually has quite a bit going on the left and right the voices and a lot of the instruments are spread out, which is why I'm using it for this example. But on the EQ here, under processing, you can see we have stereo, left only, right only, mid only, and side only. This is going to indicate what this EQ is gonna change or adjust. Stereo means it'll do both left and right. We can do individual on the left or the right. The mid, refers to things that are exactly the same in both channels or what ends up being in that phantom center. So things that sound like they're exactly in the front and then things that are different in the channels, which end up being the things that in the stereo image end up the left and the right. So for instance, and this is a great way to be able to kind of hear this, we're gonna put another channel EQ here and each of these options can only be put on one EQ. So let's do mid only and just turn it down now you're hearing just the things that are different in the stereo image on the left and the right let's add one more channel eq for a second we'll bypass that last one and let's do just the side only and turn this one down and this is only the stuff that's exactly in the center. What this means is we can actually come through and just EQ the things that are in the center part of our stereo image. So let's turn this one on. We're going to boost up a little bit of the highs, cut a little bit of the mud, add a little bit more in the low, and it's going to leave all of the side information untouched. <laughs> Okay, so that's really useful if we have a mix like this where we want to maybe boost some of the, the vocals that are in the center or the bass or sometimes the drums. We can actually manipulate those parts of the sound completely separately. The same thing goes if we want to manipulate just the stuff that's out on the side but leave the center exactly as it was. And it doesn't just have to be an EQ curve. So for instance, if this is the, the mid only right now, we could just raise up the mid so we can essentially just turn up the volume on the things that are in the center and leave the things that are different on the sides exactly the same as they were. Most of the time this is going to be useful, for instance, if we have a stereo mix that we want to either affect the bass, turning it up, or turning it down because so often if we have a full stereo mix and we don't have all the individual parts, we're not going to be able to just adjust things like the bass independently as easily. But in this case, because the bass is typically right in the middle, then we can do that without affecting, for instance, guitar parts, which may be panned left and right, etc. <laughs> We can really make a stereo track pop. We can change it quite a bit or just with any sound. So say we have a synthesizer patch, which is a stereo patch. We can change all the different components here the same way using multiple EQs to get there.
Okay, just something interesting that I think is worth talking about every once in a while because this is something that most EQs don't have. And it's something that if you don't even think about, you might not even know what these were for. It comes from, this terminology comes from mid-side recording, which uses a figure eight pattern microphone aimed sideways to or perpendicular to where you're actually recording the sound and then a cardioid pattern aimed right at it. Combining the two, you get a really beautiful stereo image. And so that's where the terminology comes from. And what we're using is kind of like a reverse matrix to pull things apart so you can actually adjust those individual feeds separately before they combined back together at the end of the plugin. Okay, so perhaps maybe a little bit too much or too simplified, but a really cool tool which allows you to change your stereo image using just this really simple EQ technique.